So in this lesson, we're going to show you how to construct a congruent line segment using a compass and a straight edge. I'm going to start by drawing a point. And this is a point representing uh, my point A, but on my new segment. Then I'm going to bring my compass over to the segment I want to copy. And I put the pointy part of the compass on one end and then I open it up and line up the pencil on the other end. And once I have it spread to the length I need, I bring the compass over to the point I just drew and I draw an arc. Now I can draw a second point anywhere on this arc because this arc represents all of the points that are the same distance from this point as the distance between A and B. So if I draw a point at the top of the arc, it'll be the same distance as from A to B. If I draw a point at the bottom of the arc, it'll be the same distance. So I'm drawing a point here. And now I'm going to connect that. So I take my straight edge or my ruler and I can position it so I can draw a straight edge between the two points. And when I draw my line, that is my replica of the segment AB. And we can measure it. If I take the ruler here, we see the distance between these two points is about four. And if I take my ruler up here to AB, we see the distance between these two points is about four. So we've constructed a congruent segment using a straight edge and a compass. And as I said, any point on this red line will be that equal distance, that congruent segment from the starting point. So here we have a second task and it says construct a line segment that is congruent to the sum of segments WX and YZ. So once again, we start by making a starting point and then we bring our compass around so that we can measure the span between those two points. So you put your pointed part of the compass on one part of the segment and then you open up your compass so it reaches the other end point. And now I see that I've got, just spreading it out there, I've got the distance between the two points. I can now take my pointed end of the compass and put it on the point that I wrote here, my starting point. And I'm going to draw an arc. And we know that the distance from my starting point to the arc, any point on the arc will be the distance from W to X. So now we can take our pen and put a point on the arc. And then we get our straight edge again. And this time we're going to draw way past the length that we need because we have to add another arc to it. And we need all of the points to be collinear. Remember that term collinear from the beginning of our textbook, meaning that all the points exist on the same line. So this represents the distance from W to X, but if I keep going, I'm going to find some other distance I need to add to this. So we can bring our compass back and now use it to measure the distance between Y and Z. Put one side of your compass on point Z and then line up the other side of your compass so it's on point Y. And now that I have the distance from Y to Z measured, I can bring my point onto the red arc and I'm going to draw another arc and this will add the distance of Y to Z onto the distance from W to X. So now I'll draw my other point here. And I'll label this W prime X prime, meaning that these are transformations of WX. We'll talk more about transformations in the units to come. And then we're saying that Y is going to start where X is, 
So I'll call this y prime and z prime. And if we measure the distance from w to z, we get about 9. So let's measure the distance from w to x. w to x, we get just shy of 6. And y to z, we get just a little over 3. So the sum of the two is 9 centimeters. And that's what we got here. So we used a compass to just span the distance and put an arc through it. And we did that twice, once for the large segment, once for the small. And this is the combination of the two segments. What we've been calling the segment addition postulate. Two smaller segments add up to make a larger segment. In this next slide, we're going to take an existing segment and use it to create an equilateral triangle. So to do this, we line up our compass on the endpoints of the segment, as we've been doing. And we're going to draw an arc that goes all the way to the other endpoint. We see it went from B all the way to where A is. And then we're going to do this again. We're going to say, well, let's switch it. Let's now put the point of the compass on endpoint B. And this time, we'll start the pencil on endpoint A. And when we do this, we're going to go in a direction to B. And where these two arcs intersect here, this is where we're going to put our vertex. And I'm going to call this point C. Now, we're going to get out our straight edge. And we're going to line it up from A to C, and then we'll line it up from B to C and draw our lines. And now that we've drawn our equilateral triangle, let's measure the three sides um, to see that they're equal. I'm using digital tools here, so it's not as easy to do as with hand tools. But we see that side AC has a length of 4. Side AB has a length of 4. And side BC has a length of 4. So all three sides are the same. Did a pretty good job here with the digital tools. We have our equilateral triangle ABC. Remember, this started with one line segment given to us, and we said let's make the other two sides the same size as AB. And we did that by taking the compass, spreading it to the distance from A to B, drawing the arc, then switching which side the point and pencil were on and drawing another arc, and that gave us our equilateral triangle. And now we're going to do the same thing, but we're given a triangle ABC, and we have to do all three sides. So this is going to use what we did with our first example, make a congruent segment. So let's start by making a segment congruent to AC. We'll take our pencil, draw a starting point, then we'll grab our compass, line it up with the points A and C. We'll bring our compass to our starting point here. Draw an arc. Now we'll put a point on the arc. This is going to represent a side congruent to AC. We're going to take our straight edge to connect those two endpoints together. Now you can take your pencil and erase your arc. And we're going to do this again. We're going to bring our compass here. We're going to line it up with the endpoints. And now we're going to draw an arc to the other side and then switch which side the point is on and which side the pencil is on. So we can draw the second arc and find that intersection of the arcs 
which give us the third point for our equilateral triangle. So this combines our two techniques of making a congruent line segment and making an equilateral triangle from a given line segment. And then we'll connect the other two points together. And all three sides should be approximately the same length. So we'll measure these next. So the bottom side of the triangle measures to be about three and a half, 3.6 centimeters. And then if we measure the other sides, I have Let's get the zero on the point. I'm going to delete out my red arcs as though I'm erasing them with a pencil. And we see it's about 3.6 again. And then if we measure the third side, get the zero of the ruler lined up with one of the points. And this one's a little bit bigger. It's about 3.7. Um, but it's easier to do, as I said, with hand tools but you should get all three sides to be equal for your equilateral triangle. All right, so those were our examples. You can follow along. This video is for you to come back to if you need to have something to guide you through your homework and complete your homework, come to class with questions, and we'll continue prepping for our test this week.